Alrighty, hi everybody, how are you? Facebook, YouTube, the internet, the world. Boy, oh boy, I tell you what, this coronavirus is something else, isn't it? Man, it's crazy. So we all need to find something to do to pass the time away. So I like to make videos, and this particular video here is inspired by my uncle, who is a vinyl record collector. Now, if you don't know what a vinyl record is, for you really young folks, it's this giant thing right here. Look at this big old thing right here. This is a vinyl record. They used to make these. I think they started making these way a long time ago, like around the beginning of the century or something. I don't know. I'm not an expert on the history. But what I wanted to do, I wanted to sort of show off my vinyl collection. I don't have that many albums, you know, probably less than 100. But I just wanted to show you what I had. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with this one right here. This is um, the 1984 hit album by mega superstar Madonna, Like a Virgin. Now, I'm, I'm an 80s kid, so this is good music to me. She had a lot of good hits. And for those of you who don't like the bubblegum pop kind of music, I'm sorry. I have a very broad palette. I like all different kinds of music, and Madonna is one of my favorites. I think she was, was uh, awesome for her time. She was revolutionary. She was the Lady Gaga of her day, if you know who that is. So this is uh, Madonna here. And uh, if you flip it over on the other side, you can see there's another shot of her. I'm assuming that this is going to be, this is a reissue. This is a 180 gram vinyl and uh, includes Like a Virgin, Material Girl, Dress You Up, and a couple other uh, songs. But this is what you do. You, you always want to take your vinyl out real carefully and hold it by the edges. You can use your finger right here to help you balance it. But you always want to take really good carry albums. Never touch because the oils and dust and stuff, whatever might be on your hands, can get on the vinyl. So take good care of them. All right. So this is Madonna. <clears throat> and let's see what the inner jacket looks like. <clears throat> I like the paper inner jacket. Sometimes people are doing these plastic ones. I think this might be a replica of the paper um, album jacket that was in the original release that came out in 1980, what did I say? 84? Yeah, 1984. So what I like to do, slide it right on in there. And then what I, I do is, I ju this is just me personally, you know, this, not everybody does this, but then you um, can put it in here. You know, this one seems to have come with another. Huh. It came with two. Huh. Interesting. I don't know why that is, but... Okay. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm going to not put it in here because this is rare and a collector's item, and I don't want to damage that, so I'll... I'll Put the album in the extra one that it came with and that will preserve the shape this has all the lyrics uh like a virgin okay i made it through the wilderness somehow i made it through didn't know how lost i was until i found you so there we go a little bit of madonna for you keeping it real keeping it real with madonna now you'll see once i'm done showing you this collection we'll, I'll diverse my musical taste star, okay? Something a little similar. Up next here, we have Miss Amy Winehouse. I thought she was, um, you know, a, a way ahead of her time. Had a, 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 a an older voice and an older soul than somebody her age uh, would normally have. But this is Back to Black. This may have been her, I don't know if this is her debut album or not, but it has Rehab, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones... A lot, of, a lot of good songs on here. So Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. <clears throat> All right, moving right along, we have the Miami Sound Machine. Now this is a this is one of those um, single albums. Like it's a full-size album, but it just has one song on it, a very long extended version, and it looks like a remix of this song Bad Boy, which I really like by Gloria Estefan, who was a member of the Miami Sound Machine back in the 80s. So that's all, if you see on the back here, side A, bad boy remix, side two, bad boy dub version. So it's basically just, I, I like her a lot, and I like the Miami Sound Machine. And check out some of Gloria Estefan's uh, Spanish uh, albums, they're really good. And this here, this guy, <laughs> oh man, this guy's awesome. 
This guy's awesome. This is Mr. Mr. Ted Nugent, Cat Scratch Fever, one of his great greatest albums. Let's see if there's anything really good on here. Uh, Wang Dang, Sweet Poo Tang, and Cat Scratch Fever are two of the biggest hits that are on here. But gotta love the old Uncle Ted. Seen him in concert about a year and a half ago. Was amazing. I had no idea that that guy was such an amazing guitar player, but he sure is. All right, what do we got up next? Man, this is exciting, isn't it? All right, we have, ooh, Francis Albert Sinatra, all, a.k.a. Frankie, Frank Sinatra, and Antonio Carlos Jobim. This is a great, this is sort of like a, a, a fusion of the swing jazz um, uh, with, you know, a, more of the uh, the musical jazz of uh, Antonio Jombi. This is a great album. You listen to this on Apple Music or Spotify, wherever you listen to your music. Try to just sample a couple of songs. Every th song on here is amazing. I absolutely love it. All right, moving right along, we have the very first album that The Grateful Dead released. I think it's just self-titled The Grateful Dead, right? Isn't that the name of it? The Grateful Dead. Let's see if I can see what year this came out. 1967 was the very first year. Um, and what side? We have uh, The Golden Road, Beat It On Down the Line, Good Morning Schoolgirl, Cold Rain and Snow, Sitting on Top of the World. And there's even a P.O. Box on here if you would like to join the Grateful Dead fan club. I'll bet you that address is not... That, that, that's something I miss from a long day. I used to have fan clubs. I guess if you just follow them on Instagram or Facebook now, you're a fan. Here's another Grateful Dead one. I don't know what order these are in. I'm just grabbing them as they're sitting here. Grateful Dead, Working Man's Dead. This is good good stuff right here. This is um, a reissue 180 gram HQ premium vinyl. Let's see. The original release date of this particular album was 1970. 70 this came out one year before i was even born so they were they were putting the hits out before uh yours truly was even thought of and then we have ah uh, yes the Jimi hendrix experience are you experienced this is a classic 180 gram all all analog mastering from the original two track master tapes tapes so there you go it's got all the hits on here. The Wind Cries Mary, Purple Haze, Manic Depression, Hey Joe, Foxy Lady. Great, great album. Ah, uh, yes, this, this one here. Very heavy. Very heavy. Because I think it's a double album, 180 gram. This is just Pink Floyd. You all know the cover, Dark Side of the Moon. Their greatest, single greatest achievement in my mind, my opinion. So we have that. These are all great listens. Uh, and then here's a newer group that's come along that I really t have taken a liking to. This is Greta Van Fleet. And this is their... Uh, I'm not sure which one of these... I have both of their albums. I have From the Fires and I have Anthem of the Peaceful Army. Let me see which which one came out first. This is 2018. This is... I can't read... 2019. So that means this one. Anthem of the Peaceful Army is their debut album. Great album. Sort of Led Zeppelin-esque kind of sound, but they're they're unique in their own way. Great, great album. Would love to see them in concert sometime if they ever came around here. Check out either one of these albums. Sample them and watch them live. They're young kids. They're, they almost, they're almost, they're just beyond a boy band. And their music is way better than any boy band. All right, and this is David Bowie. This is the last album that he put out before he passed away. And let's see, what is the name of this album? It's just called David Bowie. Then really, I don't know, Black Star. But this is also, I think this might, yeah, this is a double album, 180 gram. Fantastic album, David Bowie, man. Oh man, he will be missed. He's a great one, like Michael Jackson and Prince and everyone else we lost. Good old David Bowie, you gotta have some Bowie in your collection. And greatest selling album of all time ever in the history of music, right here. The 25th, 25th anniversary? It's really, it's only been 25 years? That can't be right. 25 years ago 
was in the 90s, right? Wasn't that like 95? I don't know why it says 20. Maybe this came out 10 years ago. Anyway, this this is uh, LP side one, side B, side C. Uh-huh. That's interesting. On the third side, side C, it's Vincent Price excerpt from Thriller voiceover se session. And that takes up an entire side of an album. Wow, that must be... I have not listened to that yet. And then the... Okay, yeah, it is the 25th anniversary edition. Previously unreleased tracks with Will I Am. I'm not a big fan of the the um, remixes with other artists. I just like them in their original form. There's a there's a couple of compilations on here with Will I Am, uh, Akon, Fergie, Kanye West. So anyway, greatest album of all time. If you don't know about Thriller, then you need to come out from that rock you're living under. All right, what do we have next? Ooh, a little bit of jazz, a little bit of jazz. John Coltrane, My Favorite Things, 180 gram right here. This is, if you like jazz, if you know anything about jazz, this is it. This is uh, one of the greatest jab, jazz albums of all time. My Favorite Things, it's just what you think it is, the classic Raindrops and Roses, but uh, done in uh, John Coltrane style. It's absolutely amazing. Ah, we have a, a kitty in the background. Isn't that lovely? All right. Another another great Coltrane classic right here, Giant Steps. This is I knew this song when I was five years old. Um, I used to we used to whistle this song around the house. This is such such an amazing album. John Coltrane, Giant Steps. Um, there's only you know what's funny is there's there's only there's four songs on one side, three songs on the other. So these are long cuts. They, they're just smoking. S smoking, smoking jazz album right here. Giant Steps. Get your hands on it if you can, or sample it on the internet if you are not a vinyl collector. Here you go. You all know this one. Per probably his most popular album of all time. Uh, Blue Train by uh, John Coltrane. Uh, put out by Blue Note Records. This is a uh, re-release. High Fidelity. 180 gram, I'm sure. So that's a Oh, look, here's one more, John Coltrane. Even though I had that. A Love Supreme. Another great album. Um, doesn't have a track listing on the back. It might be on the inside, but I'm not going to take it out. This is just, I love, if you can't tell, I love John Coltrane. All right, so let's uh, let's pull some others over here and see what we have. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of Beatles. I'm a huge Beatles fan. So you're going to see with the Beatles. All right, this... <clears throat> What I, now, do not hold me to know exactly what Beatles album came out when. I cannot chrono chronologically put them in order for you. This is just, you know, see if there's a year on here. 2000, doesn't have, it just has the date that these were remixed or re-recorded. This is in stereo, by the way, not mono. Hmm. I don't know what year it came out, but there it is. With the Beatles, this has, I mean, almost every song they did was a hit, but this has uh, All My Lovin', uh, Till There Was You, Please Mr. Postman, Roll Over Beethoven. Uh, so great. Money, that's what I want. Okay, so the Beatles, there you go. More Beatles help. The Beatles help. And again, this does not have, this, this actual one, it says this is 180 gram remaster. And this was actually made in Germany. It says here, Parlophone. But this is another, let's see, what are some hits on this one? Help. Um, I need you. You're gonna lose that girl. Ticket to ride. Um, I've just seen a face yesterday. I mean, yesterday, come on. Wow. All right, next up, Rubber Soul. Perhaps one of the greatest Beatles albums of all time. Depending on who you ask, Drive My Car, Norwegian Wood. See, my uncle would be able to give you so much more information about these albums. Um, this is Long Play, 33 and a third, our rotations per minute. <coughs> River Soul, remastered, great, in stereo. Here's, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, 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 Revolver. Look at that crazy artwork on there, huh? What are some awesome. Great hits on here. Taxman. Eleanor Rigby. 
I like, no, I say that because I like the song. I just don't like the real tax man, you know, that we have to deal with. Eleanor Rigby, Yellow Submarine, first appearance of that song. Good Day Sunshine. Dr. Robert. Man, there's just oh, so many other albums and so many hits. And of course, you know, any true Beatles fan has to have this one in their collection. Any true Beatles fan has to have them all, but this is just, you know, this is standard issue right here. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band, The Beatles. There it is. You could just, I was a kid, I used to stare at this album cover forever and just try to, I didn't know who most of the people, I still don't know who most of the people are because I guess I'm just too young or something. I don't know, but uh, there's a few people I recognize. Muhammad Ali, the younger Beatles, there's um, Marlon Brando. Who else do we have on here? Marilyn Monroe, probably a W.C. Fields, Bob Dylan, Mae West, I, I think. I'm not sure who that, that one is there. That looks like uh, maybe Abbott and Costello, one of them. Yeah, Abbott and Costello. And James Dean, I feel like James Dean should be on here if he's not. And I think I know that lady, but I can't remember her name right now. Yeah, I guess I don't know most of the people on there. I don't know who that's supposed to be a statue of. But you can look on the internet. They, they have the diagrams that dissect every person. The White Album, the great White Album. This is the one that supposedly helped inspire the Manson family murders. Uh, Helter Skelter is on here. Made in Germany. This is a reissue, 180 gram, back in the USR, USSR. This is four album sides two albums side one side two side three side four um birthday is on here blackbird back in the ussr oh body oh la di oh ba da ha la 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 life goes on all right so what else do we have oh more beatles there's the uh <clears throat> you know you know the name of this one right everybody knows what road that is that is abbey road abbey road Ah, yes, The Beatles and Abbey Road. Let It Be, another great one. A lot of great songs on here. Great songs. The long and winding road. Blum, blum. So what else? Oh, getting into some metal. Getting into some Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Let's see if we open this up. I don't want everything to fall out, but this is this is it right here. I think this is a self-titled, it's just called Black Sabbath. I don't think, this is not their first album, I don't believe. Uh, let me see if I can find out what year it came out. Nope. Doesn't say what year, but I'm going to guess very early 70s, early to mid 70s. What a creepy cover, huh? Kind of a neat picture but the graininess of it all sort of makes it look old and scary here speaking of black sabbath we have the master of reality album oh man sweet leaf sweet leaf's a great song so if you're in the metal if you're in the this is this is where you start right here if you're trying to get in the metal or if you're in the metal you're not that familiar with black sabbath pick up this album it is fantastic and this is also a double album um, well, it says it is. I think there's two albums in here. Or maybe it's a, an album and a book. I think it's two albums, though. Huh. Does not say what year it originally came out. Okay. Moving on down the line with more metal. We have Iron Maiden Killers. This is a 180 gram reissue. Original album art and audio masters. Let's see, I was just, I think they should just, 1981, this came out originally, 1981. Let's do a little trivia here. Who can tell me who is the lead vocalist from Iron Maiden? That's Eddie, by the way, good old Eddie. They did a lot of artwork with him. You know what you do? I can't remember the guy's name who did the artwork, but the dude's pretty amazing. You might say, front cover illustration, Derek Riggs. So Google... Derek Riggs art image search that and you will see everything he's ever done for Iron Maiden and everything he's done 
everywhere else too. It's he's I love his artwork. So cool, so badass. Anyway, the lead singer is Paul Diano. He's the lead singer for Iron Maiden. All right, moving right along, we have Metallica. Dun, dun, dun. I think this is their very first album, and it came out 1983. Kill 'em All, and it has the classic hit, um, well, several classic hits. The Four Horsemen, Jump in the Fire, Whiplash, Seek and Destroy. Great, great album. Speaking of Metallica, we have Master of Puppets. You can't have a respectable Metallica collection without Master of Puppets. Master, Master. This has a <clears throat> Battery, Master of Puppets, Damage Inc. There's a, a photo of the band back from the early 80s. The pioneers of true metal. And in this, I think this is Metallica's most recent release. And this... <clears throat> This has a good one, Moth Into Flame. Man, put on some headphones, put on Moth Into Flame, and crank it up, not too much, you don't want to damage your hearing, but it's a great, great cut. There's a lot of, this is, this is proof that, this is proof that Metallica is back. They might have been gone for a while, you know. Those first five albums, first, was five or six albums that they put out were just gold, and then, you know, after the Black Album, you know, things weren't as amazing. They were still good, but this is proof that they're back. And it, they still got it in them right here. Fantastic. This is like a huge... This is actually probably the last album I'm going to show you. Because I showed you most of my newer vinyl. And um, I'm not going to get into the older stuff. I might just call out what I have real quick. But this, man, this came with the old buttons. <laughs> Remember the buttons that people... <coughs> <coughs> People in the 80s used to put these on their jean jackets. So they have some old metallic buttons. This is like a collector's thing right here. And what is this? Looks like a little... To redeem your digital copy of Hardwired to Self-Destruct. That's that's what the name of the album is. And then there's a code on there. And then, it, I don't know, I guess... And then this is the uh, whole album right here on... Oh, wait a minute. You know what? This is all live stuff here. This is like, I don't even think I knew this was in here. This is like a bonus CD of all live stuff. Well, most of it's live. Uh, Ronnie Rising Medley. When a Blind Man Cries and Remember Tomorrow. And then a bunch of live stuff. That's cool. I don't even think I've listened to that yet. Because I don't think I have a CD player anymore. But there's, uh, there's like four albums that come in this set. A bunch of cool artwork. So, you know, watch, if you're into vinyl collecting, I would definitely recommend you watch where you store these. You want to keep them free of dust. Always put them away when you're done listening to them. Um, keep them in a good temperature range. Oh, so, hey, man, the coronavirus, huh? Boy, isn't that something? That is just terrible. I'm hating the coronavirus. Hopefully hurry up and find a cure. Um, wear your mask if you go out. Only go out for groceries and to help people, help old people. Um, if you want to donate food, do some nice charity work or whatever. But just, just stay home, guys. This is serious. I wish that I could just be doing a vinyl record um, tour here and not uh, be talking about the coronavirus, but it is definitely worth mentioning. It is a, a, a real-life crisis that not only this country, but the entire world is dealing with right now. <clears throat> I'll just real quickly tell you what I have. Um, and even this isn't all of them. I have a few more ones in the uh, back bedroom. But let's see what we have here. Uh, here's another copy. I got this. I know I already have this. showed you this album. But I found this at a thrift store for like a dollar. I mean, how could you pass this up? It's still in the sleeve, and I think it's in really decent condition. There might be a, a few small scratches on here, but this is, I believe this is an original. This is not a reissue. Didn't say the year, but more Black Sabbath. And I got this one for my wife. She's a big fan of this movie. The soundtrack to Gone with the Wind. 
I don't know. What else do we have? Songs in the Attic. Billy Joel. This is another um, thrift store find. I think I like a dollar or two or something. Um, what do we have here? Johnny Cash at San Quentin. Gotta love Johnny Cash. Can't go wrong with him. This is an amazing album. This is probably my favorite Janis Joplin album of all time. Let's see if I can get the name of it for you. I got them old cosmic, cosmic blues again, mama. Janis Joplin. You gotta remember that album cover if you want to find it anywhere. It's just a blurry picture of her under red lights. And man, she's just amazing, amazing. You'll be like, wow, what range. Bruce Springsteen, love me some Bruce Springsteen. Darkness, On the Edge of Town, great songs on here. There's a, there's the back. I hope, I'm hoping that the glare on this camera is not messing with these album covers. And you can see what I'm showing you. More of Bruce Springsteen, The River. <clears throat> I believe this is an original. Thrift store find, this is not a reissue. So is that Darkness on the Edge of Town. <clears throat> this is Born in the USA. Might be an original. Not sure. This originally, I believe this came out in 84, too. If I'm not, yep, 1984. Same year as um, Like a Virgin. And I think maybe the same year as Thriller. I think Thriller came out in 84. And I'm a huge fan of Sting and the Police. So this is Sting's first sol solo album, Dream of the Blue Turtles. I have seen Sting in concert. I believe six times. He's the most I've ever seen a singer. And I met him one time back in 2001, October 2001, at Bryant Park. He did a, um, a concert um, in celebration of the release of Microsoft XP. And I, met, I got to meet him um, afterwards behind the uh, stage. He was going into some restaurant or something. And I got to shake his hand. Treat of a lifetime. And I told him how awesome he was. And he's like, I know. <laughs> he was cool. And this is my favorite police album of all time. I mean, I like all of them, but this is just my favorite. I had, this is one, I think I picked this up. My, my uncle gave this to me, or I may have picked it up at the thrift store. But I had this on cassette. I think I probably had it on album, too, back in the uh, mid-early 80s. Uh, 1983, this came out. So, Synchronicity, The Police. Here's another Johnny Cash, good old Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison this time. This guy loved playing at prisons, prisons, <laughs> and he uh, did some of his best work, live work there at the prisons. Here's another prison one. This is San Quentin. Man, how many? That's it. We got Folsom, San Quentin. Didn't I show you one other one too? Oh, I have actually. Oh, my fault. I have two of these, so I need to look and see which one's in better condition, and maybe I can. Uh, trade them or, or do something with them. So I have two of those. Uh, George Benson, The Other Side of Abbey Road. So this is basically just George Benson's rendition of um, the songs that were on Abbey Road. His version of them. George Benson's an amazing jazz guitarist. Fantastic. Uh, yes, good old Kiss. Rock and roll over. Rock and roll over. This is a classic. This is not... You can hear some cracks and pops and hisses when you play this, but, you know, it's sort of charming, it's the old vinyl sound, but this is uh, an original Kiss. I have another Kiss here, Kiss Alive 2, in my opinion, the greatest live album that they put out ever, and I paid three bucks for this at a thrift store. <clears throat> Here's another Janis Joplin, just her greatest hits, can't go wrong with that, good stuff on here, nice to have on vinyl. Elton John, I've got a lot of Elton John, I really like him, I've seen him in concert two or three times, met him once, got to shake his hand. The man has very small hands. I did not know that, but it was uh, very cool to meet uh, the, man, the man, the myth, the legend that is Elton John. This is fantastic, Captain Fantastic, and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. I'm thinking this probably was not one of his... 1975 that came out. <clears throat> this is... This might be his first album. I'm not sure. Elton John. It's just called Elton John. So, this Bernie Talton is on here. This says, what year, what year? Man, you're killing me, not giving me the year. Might be his first album. I'm not sure. Another Elton John. Honky Chateau. My back is killing me. I'm sitting on the floor like this, but I'm no, I know I'm in good camera shot right now, so I could probably be sitting in a chair and I'd be just fine. Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player, starring Elton John. 
And uh, this one, this is an original. This is not a copy. And there it is right there. It's got a little, uh, oh, it's got a little book in there. There he is. There's Bernie. And there's Elton. Huge fan of Elton John. Fantastic dude. Fantastic performer. Another Elton John. Madman across the water. I thought I had more Beatles than I have everything else. I might have more Elton John than I have anything else. There's another Tumbleweed connection. Elton John. There you go. Don't know what year it came out, but <clears throat> everybody has to have this. And you can, this is, this. Which fortunately, this is actually a good album, and it's easy to find at thrift stores. Frampton Comes Alive. And you can see, from the album being in there for so many years, it's sort of made its uh, imprint on the album cover. Some people store their albums separately because of that. But there he is, Peter Frampton Comes Alive. I wonder where this concert was shot at. It probably says... And Cameron Crowe, contributing editor of Rolling Stone, wrote this in 1975. Man, you imagine being Cameron Crowe during the... Hey, what do we have here? This is the Grateful Dead. This should be with my other Grateful Deads. Shakedown Street. Grateful Dead, Shakedown Street. It's got some of that cool old... Um, can't remember the name of the artist that did that. But... 1978. This is an original right here. Shakedown Street, Serengeti, Fire in the Mountain. If I had the world to give. Good stuff. Oh, here we go. Greatest, probably their greatest album, Van Halen. Self-titled, I think this is their first album that ever came out. What do we got here? You Really Got Me, Jamie's Crying, Running with the Devil, Ain't Talking About Love, Eruption, Ice Cream Man. So many hits just on their very first album. Man, I love me some Van Halen. All right, Men at Work. I think I have two Men at Work albums. This might be their two only releases. No, th I think there's another one. But this is Business as Usual and Cargo. These are great. Love Men at Work. Got some Def Leppard, Pyromania. This album's in rough shape, though. But I don't think there's any scratches on it. I think it's just the cover that's in rough shape. Okay, we got some Paul McCartney, Ram. You know, every, every true... McCartney fan knows about Ram. Great album. Is it, is it in here? Seems awfully light. Hmm. I don't know. I don't even know if it's in here. I'm curious. I feel like it's not in here. Oh, no, it is. It's just, uh, this is an original, I guess. This is not a re-release because it's very light. Definitely not 180 gram. So that's Paul McCartney, Ram. And he has a, a picture of himself. I'm sure being very kind and not eating this ram. I don't know. Was he a vegetarian way back then? He probably was if he was with Linda. I think she got him on that kick, didn't he? Or was it... Maybe it wasn't Linda. Maybe it was one of his other... Anyway, Led Zeppelin. First Led Zeppelin album ever came out. I think my uncle gave this to me. Absolutely fantastic. Good times, bad times. Babe, I'm going to leave you. You shook me, dazed and confused. I think, yeah, every song on here was a hit. Uh, your Time Is Gonna Come, Black Mountainside, Communication Breakdown, I Can't Quit You Baby, How Many More Times, every song was a hit. And this is a very rare one. This is old and in the way. It's difficult to explain this one, but this, um, let's see, I think this is a Grateful Dead album. Jerry Garcia on banjo, believe it or not, and vocals. Um, David Grisman is on mandolin and vocals. Peter Rowan is on guitar and vocals, uh, John Kahn, string bass, and Vassar Clements on violin. So, th I don't know, this came out in 1975, and um, this is just a weird, sort of an obscure, but it's it's kind of cool, it's kind of bluegrassy, and uh, it's fun to listen to. So if you, ever, you can ever listen to this, sample this somewhere on the internet, old and in the way, and it doesn't say... The group, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is considered a Grateful Dead album. But anyway, old and in the way. Now this is my favorite, one of my all-time favorite jazz albums. I grew up with this when I was a kid. I was listening to this when I was five and six years old. Manhattan Transfer, Extensions. So many good songs on here. It probably won't have the sentimental meaning that it has for me to you. But um, some of my favorites on here, Birdland, Wacky Dust. Nothing you can do about it. There's 
It's so weird. I haven't really listened to this in quite a while, but I could not listen to this album in 20 or 30 years, pop it on, and then immediately start lip syncing with every word to every song. It's so great. Manhattan Transfer. This, believe it or not, quoted in an interview, Pope John Paul II, our greatest pope in my lifetime. Pope Francis is good too. But this, he was quoted as saying that the Manhattan Transfer was his favorite musical group when he was alive. Pope John Paul II. Manhattan Transfer. Jazz vocalist. Check them out. They're fun. All right, I think we just have a couple more to show you here. Willie Nelson, Red-Headed Stranger, Ur soundtrack to Urban Cowboy, because my wife and I both love this movie and all the music that was featured in it. And, yeah, I definitely have some more in my room, and I have two Steve Martin albums. Uh, Let's Get Small, another album that I grew up on. My dad had it, so I memorized just about every joke on here. And then uh, A Wild and Crazy Guy. So that is it. So when I'm done with this video... The first thing I'm going to do is put all those records away. <laughs> Got to take good care of them, folks, though. So, uh, I just want to throw a few pieces of advice out there. Take this coronavirus seriously, folks. We're living in an uncertain times. Um, the latest news statistics today is there are over a million cases, confirmed cases of coronavirus worldwide. And there are a thousand people that are dying from this every single day just here in America. So it is nothing to be taken lightly. If you go out, wear a mask. Um, even if you think that it's silly, wear a mask because it'll help in a few ways. If you are contagious and don't have any signs or symptoms, it will prevent you from breathing in on other people. It will also keep you from touching your face or at least your nose and your mouth, which is definitely where you don't want to touch if you're out and about. and Like in the grocery store, you don't know how many people have put their their hand on that box of macaroni, you know. So be careful. Just go out for necessities. You know what? But I strongly encourage you to spend time outdoors. Go and do outdoor things. Um, go fishing. Go for a hike. Stay. Keep your distance from other people. Um, you know, do do outdoor activities. This is a, a um, restrictive um, rule that's in effect, but it doesn't mean you can't go out and do things solo on your own or with your significant other or with your family. If you've been quarantined in your house with your family, then you know, you guys just stick together and you'll be fine. Go out there and, and do things. It's it's a tremendous financial burden on our country right now and it's gonna take a while to recover, but we will, you know, uh, we will go on. This is not gonna wipe out the human race. We're not gonna all become zombies. Um, just hang in there, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, the, the government will help us out with, um, food and, and, and money for bills and so it's a tough time it is a tough very stressful and it's always in the back of everyone's mind so I have had a kitty cat outside of my studio door here that has pretty much been meowing the entire time it's okay Jen he's funny he's part of the video now and he just won't stop meowing because he knows I'm in here and we got a little black cat named Bob and uh, he's just, he's desperate to come in here. You want you guys want to see him real quick? I'll, I'll let him come on camera real quick. Oh. Hey, kitty. Where is he? He's coming. Come on, Bob. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's so happy now. He's like, whoa, what's in this room? Because we didn't normally come in here. Hey, buddy. What you doing? What do you want to come in here so bad? And now what? See, he, he just wants to look around. As soon as I let him down, he's just going to go sniffing around, all around and stuff. Mm. Anyway, everybody, this has been fun. This is my contribution to the vinyl collector's world. Comments, <clears throat> likes. What did, they, what did they say? They say like, subscribe, comment. Comment, like, subscribe. Do all that stuff to my YouTube channel. Because with all this downtime we've been having, I'm going to have a lot more time to do a lot more videos. It's kind of fun. So, thank you for watching.